Hey, Shug. Welcome back to me, Sigur Tarot. So today I'm going to do a all signs reading for the full moon. Okay, we have the full moon in Cancer on January 17th. And what the full moon offers is like energy that is inspiring. Okay, so if you're like in a situation where you're just not satisfied, whether it's like your job or your relationship or your business, like it'll give you like the motivation to like do something about it. Um, if you feel like people aren't treating you, you know, the way that you feel like you should be treated, you're going to probably be um, more like motivated to speak up about it. Okay. To share how you're feeling and to like demand, you know, respect. Okay. But also like if you are in an energy where like things are like going good, right? You might feel like, like if you're working really hard, you're making good money, you might feel like there's something missing where, you know, maybe you're spending too much time working and you're like, oh, I want to give more to, you know, energy to my family or energy to my friends or whatever the case may be. It would just kind of open your eyes to certain things. So we're doing fire signs right now. I'm going to go through each fire sign and see what will the full moon in Cancer on January 17th do for you okay so of course we're starting off with Aries all right for my Arians okay full moon in cancer reading for Aries what can Aries expect during this full moon now the full moon is on January 17th but the energy of that moon can last like a good month okay so um for Aries, what can they expect during this full moon in Cancer? What can they expect to feel or encounter during this full moon in Cancer spirit? From Aries, full moon in Cancer. And Aries, you get a new start is coming. Okay, look, look at that. Look at that new moon energy okay so a new start is coming because the bottom of the deck look at this aries is your card it says it's time to take action all right so you might get like motivation to take action on something or you know vice versa like this might be the energy that's coming towards you all right because a new start is you know coming for you all right so we're going to clarify it all right for aries spirit Please clarify. I don't want to. I don't want to use this deck. It just didn't feel right. Let me use this one. Okay, <laughs> for Aries spirit. All right, for Aries. Okay. One more for Aries. Okay. Yeah, we have a new start that's coming. All right. So why is this card here for Aries doing this full moon spirit? A new start is coming. What is this new start about? A new start is coming for Aries in this full moon and cancer energy. Might get motivated to take action on something that promotes this new start for you. There it is. Taking action for sure. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that tower energy. Here's the Knight of Wands, okay? Knight of Wands energy is definitely about taking action. This might come out of nowhere with this tower energy. The tower is divine intervention. When you are in like a stuck situation or, you know, where you don't know where to, where to go or how to move, like, should I do this or should I do that? Like with this tower energy, yeah, it looks total satisfaction. Total, the fourth cup is total dissatisfaction, right? You know? Um, it could be with your finances with the Nine of Pentacles. It could be relationship-wise, okay? The Nine of Pentacles represents like single and independent, okay? But it could be like, you know, maybe you're tired of like being single and independent, you know? All of a sudden, boom, you take an action. You're going towards someone that you're interested in. Or maybe, um, you know, you want to be stable and independent and you're just not tired, you're just tired with um, or not satisfied with your current financial status and boom all of a sudden like here's a new opportunity it's like a new start is coming where you can take action on something why is a new start is here new a new start is coming for aries why is this card here 
Oh, listen. <laughs> All right. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands and the lover's energy on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, the Queen of Wands energy is your energy, Aries. So with the lover's energy and the fool, Aries energy. Okay. You can be either going to a fire sign or a fire sign coming to you. The reason why I say that is because the fool energy is Aries energy. Okay. Making that decision, right? Going towards um, a fire sign, maybe. Okay. Going towards someone that you see as sexy and confident. Okay. Okay. With the heart in here. All right. That is about commitment long term. Okay. I, mean, I feel like someone is just tired of being single. Okay. Because we saw that Nine of Pentacles. All right. They're tired. They're just not satisfied with that. And so they're going towards someone that they see as like feisty, determined, confident, sexy. Well, some type of commitment here because with the devil energy and the ten of cups this can be someone who had like a negative view of like love you know being in love you know maybe even feeling like that doesn't exist that's not real it's you know fantasy okay yeah mm -hmm. yeah so it was kind of juggling back and forth with this decision you can be also dealing with an air sign okay Anything else for a new start is coming for Aries? A new start is coming. One more. No. Okay. So that's what it looks like. It's like someone is definitely taking action. Ooh, the emperor tried to fall out. That's your energy, Aries. Okay. It is. Where someone is just like taking control of a situation. It's like time to take action. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it says it's time to take action here, which is on the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, new moon in Aries. Why is this card here on the bottom? Okay, someone is getting that spark. Like, it's time to take action. It's time to do something. Why is this card here for Aries spirit? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is about dishonesty, okay? Lack of trust, um, sneaky behavior, okay? Um, like not being on the up and up, right? Okay, um, with the Ten of Cups here, this is about that in love energy. It's like someone didn't trust that. Someone might have felt like, you know, yeah, you you know, you know, give your heart to somebody, you fall in love, and then you find out that they sneaky or, you know, had some type of like bad... Um, connection to this energy okay and it might be because of like conflict that they've encountered okay especially there go that emperor again okay conflict with someone um drama okay other people being involved interference okay you can see everyone's fighting okay yeah yeah but this emperor is like ready to take a leap of faith Okay, because with this world energy and this five of cups, remember, we saw the four of cups. The four of cups is just being totally dissatisfied with the world energy and this five of cups. I feel like someone is t willing to take a leap of faith, even though they don't trust it very much because they're just tired of being in this sad position or this sad state or this position of dissatisfaction. Yeah, it is. The judgment energy. Okay, that's about making a decision. Okay, that's like, you know, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, with the King of Wands on the bottom. Here's the Queen of Wands. That's their hierophant. Okay, yeah. With the <laughs> Hangman energy, there's someone that's awakening to the idea of being in love. Maybe awakening to movement, second chances even, with the Judgment energy. But it definitely sees someone taking action to go towards their Queen of Wands for a commitment in some way, shape, or form. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Now, let me give you um, a romance angel, since there's a lot of romance here. Okay, let's see. What romance angel do we have for Aries? Yeah, someone is definitely taking action, okay? Towards something that's like higher level commitments. Okay, what advice, what message do we have for Aries during this full moon reading? For this full moon reading spirit, what advice do we have for Aries? Okay, it says you're calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay, and it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, 
bottom of the deck says passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy mm -hmm. listen and i feel like you're letting it okay so that's what you can expect doing this um full moon energy aries moving on to leo okay for leos oh then i didn't read the message and i said i was maybe i'm not maybe i'm not supposed to okay <laughs> go to that do i want to no i don't okay <laughs> that's good that's what it's getting nope i don't all right for leo spirit for leo for leos okay what can leo expect during this full moon in cancer energy during this time frame what can leo expect during this full moon Ooh, in cancer Ooh. okay leo you get a new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra mm -hmm. yeah Bottom of the deck says, believe in the impossible. Blue moon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Why is a new romantic cycle begins for Leo? Brand spanking. Okay. A new romantic cycle doesn't have to be with a new person. Okay. You can be having a whole brand new cycle beginning with a, the same person. It's just like things are different right let's see why is a new romantic cycle begins here for leo oh, don't go don't do that okay <laughs> for leo why is this card here a new romantic cycle begins for leo for leo spirit Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the high priestess. This is about intuitive knowing, okay? Like um, being intuitively guided, okay? It can also represent like secrets and stuff like that. But this, the way it's coming out in the rest of the reading is showing like you knowing intuitively, okay? With the nine of pinnacles, this is about being single and stable within yourself, okay? It's like you know you want to be independent, okay or you know how to be independent all right but with this knight of pentacles energy it's like you're moving slow at doing that it's like you know you want to be single from something or releasing yourself from something but you're making slow changes okay because with the star energy here this is about desires okay um, going towards what you desire, okay? With the death energy and the ace of swords, this is like knowing the truth, okay? Um, having a victory, um, like putting some, a change, putting something behind you, okay? Five of swords is right there, like mental conflict, uh, deception with the seven of swords, sneakiness, okay? It's like you want to put an end to it and be, maybe like be truthful, be honest, go towards what it is that you desire. Let's see. Why is a new romantic cycle here for Leo? Yeah. Moving forward. Like, yeah, communicating even. Like, how you feel. And moving towards that. It's like, you know, but you're not making the changes. You know what you want, but you're not making the changes. Or you're doing so very slowly. And with the King of Wands here and the Four Swords, this is about you taking the time to yourself to, like, heal and plan 
So, because you want a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Mm hmm. Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. It's like you're ready for something solid and long term. And with the Temperance and the Ten of Swords, it's like acknowledging it's like you acknowledging a bad cycle you acknowledging something didn't work you're acknowledging like you know this is something that occurred but being at peace with it so that you can have a new beginning it's like you know that you want to be independent from something but you're moving slow at making those changes so with a new romantic cycle here it says a new romantic cycle begins it's like maybe you're getting that uh encouragement to like make some changes okay it says believe in the impossible on the bottom of the deck why is this card here for leo believe in the impossible why is this here for leo you went back in for leo believe in the impossible Okay, four of wands is about home, relationship, um, wedding, marriage, okay? With the king of cups here and ten of cups, six of pentacles. This is like someone that wants like a, like almost like the perfect relationship type thing. It's like, you know, you have all this love and emotion and you, you know, you're in a partnership with six of pentacles with someone that equally gives all that love and emotion with the ten of cups. Like a perfect home and relationship. Here's the Hierophant, okay? Yeah, with someone that loves you just the same, Queen of Cups, okay? We got the King and Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, Hierophant, and the Six of Pentacles. An equal and balanced relationship, right? It's like, maybe that's what you want, right? And maybe you're like, eh, that's impossible, okay? Like, you're, you're like, that doesn't exist, okay? Yeah. Yeah, so with the uh, King of Wands and the Page of Swords, yeah. You're realizing that maybe it does exist and I'm just, I just have fear of making that choice, okay? That's like, it's like you're realizing that it does exist, but you have fear of making that choice. The devil was here, it flipped over, so I'm gonna put it back. Okay, oh, I think it's like ending a toxic cycle. Why is believing the impossible here for Leo? Why is believing the impossible here for Leo? I do feel like you see um that whole you know being in love with someone you know equally as in love with you and happy home and marriage and commitment you see it as a fantasy okay that doesn't really exist the spirit is like believe in the impossible okay yeah the four of cups is like being dissatisfied rejection okay um seven of wands blocking a judgment okay regretting that even okay yeah it's like blocking a decision and regretting that it's like the fourth cups can also be like missed opportunity so maybe you feel like you missed an opportunity of that because you blocked it or pushed it away mm -hmm. yeah seven of swords is about lack of trust okay um yeah like not trusting the situation okay to take action towards it with the knight of cups all right so you might feel like oh i missed an opportunity at like being in love and you know having like the perfect relationship, okay? Um, because I didn't trust taking action or I wasn't honest or I was being sneaky, okay? And mainly it was because of mental conflict. Mental, the five of swords, I say it's like my mind's playing tricks on me. It's like you might've saw something that was like, you know, perfect in the past, but you thought it was like, that's an illusion. You can't really have that, okay? Like, <laughs> so with this five of swords, like my mind's playing tricks on me. But the reason why is because you were hurt, three of swords in a union, Okay, so you start to look at other opportunities as this is fantasy. Okay, so now someone is like, okay, I might have missed an opportunity at that because I didn't trust taking action. All right, so that's what Spirit is saying. Like a new romantic cycle begins with this energy. Okay, because with the high priestess, it's like you know you want to be single from something, but you're moving slow at making those changes. I feel like you are going to make those changes with this new energy. Okay. Let's get you a romance angel. Okay. Let's get you a romance angel. I do feel like fire signs was in the energy of uh that fairy tale love don't, doesn't exist. What do you think? All right? For Leo. What message do we have for Leo here? Doing this 
full moon energy. What message do we have for Leo? Really? Okay. Okay. It says chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah. And I feel like you feel it. Okay. Bottom of the deck says trust. This situation is calling for you to have trust or have faith. Yeah. Because with the seven of swords, you didn't trust it. Okay. Remember, the bottom of the deck is like past energy, the because. Okay. So you didn't trust it. Yeah, you didn't trust taking action. So you're like, oh, I think I missed an opportunity. Is that to you? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Going on to Sag. My Sagies. Okay, Sag. 20 minutes in for my Sagies. What do we have for Sag with this full moon and Cancer energy? It's snowing outside. What do we have for Sag? Okay. What do we have for my Sagies during this full moon and Cancer energy? What can they? Okay. Okay. We have confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Bottom of the deck says a time to give rather than take. Okay. The time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. Okay. So let's clarify it. For my Sagis. So your confidence is your key to your success. Yeah. I see what it is that spirit is encouraging you to be confident about. Okay. Because remember with this new moon energy, you might get like, like a spurt of energy to be like, you know what? I'm going to do it. Or I'm going to do this. Or I'm going to. Right? So let's see. Why is confidence is your key to success here for Sag? For my Sagittarians. Okay. Ace of Swords. Okay. And Two of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is about clarity. Two of Swords is about being unsure. Okay. Um, so this is you gaining clarity on something you were unsure about okay two of swords is avoidance i don't want to make a decision i don't know what decision to make well with the ace of swords is about being able to make a decision okay seven of pentacles behind that this is about um long-term investment this is about um where you sow your seeds where you put your energy your time your money okay why is confidence is key here to for success to success for sage why is this card here for sage like you knowing or getting the truth or clarity on something yeah same energy same energy as leo okay yeah high priestess energy is like inner knowing okay with the nine of pentacles knowing that you want to be independent okay but avoiding it okay but with the ace of swords here this is about gaining clarity okay Right, because with the five of pentacles here and the queen of cups, ten of wands, you're burdened down um, with almost like a loneliness energy. Okay, the five of pentacles is like loneliness, neglect, feeling left out, feeling abandoned. Um, but the queen of cups energy is almost like a loss of love. It's like you're missing that um, that nurturing, loving, caring energy. It's like you, you're good. Okay, like you're independent, you're stable by yourself. Okay. But it's like you're missing something. Why is confidence is key here? Why is this card here for Sage? Okay, this can also be about speaking your truth. Okay, you might have um, avoided um, speaking your truth on something, keeping things uh, hidden. Okay. Yeah. Because we have the king of pentacles. All right. That's the, you know, the king of money. All right. So I feel like there was a decision that needed to be made. Um, you didn't make the decision. Okay. You avoided making the decision. Maybe because you lack confidence. All right. But confidence is your key to your success here. All right. The high priestess here, this is about you knowing what decision you want to make, but keeping it to yourself. All right, um, knowing that you needed to make a decision even, but keeping it to yourself, 
right? Not necessarily sharing that, not speaking on what it is, speaking your truth, okay? But the Nine of Pentacles here, this is about you being stable. Um, you might have taken, made more focus on your stability, your money, your finances, right? Especially with the King of Pentacles here, because Seven of Pentacles here is like sowing seeds, okay? With the Empress energy here, this is a this is the divine feminine okay you might see someone as a divine feminine right yeah and it's like you want to sow seeds there but you're not confident in your own self okay it's like this is a this is something that i see that i like that i admire that i want to go towards okay either um you want to invest you want to you want to connect in some way but you're avoiding making that decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You're avoiding making that decision. Anything else for confidence is key. Yeah, they look, <laughs> there it is, it came out. Right, so look, with the love is energy, to have a new beginning, okay, to make that decision, to go towards it, to make that decision the lover's energy is about making a decision about divine connections. It doesn't have to be romantic, but generally it is, all right? Where it's like partnership. It's like you see someone that's like abundant, that's doing it or whatever. And yeah, like you're stable. You're stable yourself, okay? But it's definitely with all this pinnacle energy can be done for an earth sign, okay? It's definitely about like investing your money, finances, resources, okay? You avoid this decision for a while. And maybe because of your own confidence and your own abilities with this nine of pentacles. Okay. But this is where you want to invest your time and energy. Okay. You've been thinking a lot about it. Okay. It will require you to move forward. Okay. But you've been thinking on it. Okay. So let's see. The bottom of my deck says it's a time to give rather than to take. All right. All right. Why is this card here for Sag? It's a time to give rather than to take. Okay. Maybe in the past you were taking okay but the hierophant energy here this is about traditions okay this is about long-term commitments it's about spiritual awareness all right the knight of cups is here and the page of wands this will require you to give, okay? The Knight of Cups energy means that you are taking action to give of yourself. So you're, you know, taking someone out on a date. You are um, sending someone flowers. You're taking action towards that. And with the Page of Wands, is communicating your passions as well to someone. You could be de dealing with a fire, um, an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because... Something isn't moving. Something is stuck because of a blocking, like, defensive, protective energy. Okay? Yeah. There's that Empress energy. Okay? Yeah. With the Empress and the Ten of Cups, you see someone as everything. Okay? But you lack confidence in going towards it. You're not speaking on it. You're not speaking on what it is that you desire, what it is that you want. Okay? This is about having a commitment um, with an empress, okay, or uh, having some type of like traditional structure with a commitment, I mean, with an um, empress energy, and that's someone that is abundant, all right? But it will require you to give than to take. You will have to put yourself out there, okay? And with the will of fortune, this creates that change, okay? This creates, this is destiny, okay? With the tower, this is all major arcana and the emperor, all major arcana over here. All right, so that's why you're getting this energy. It's almost like a push, Sag. You're almost getting a push during this full moon, all right, to do something about it and not just sitting, okay? Because you've been avoiding something for a while. It's almost like it's time with that Wheel of Fortune energy. And this tower energy is going to push you out of it. It's almost like it's going to kind of like, we're sick. You guys tell me what happens, okay? <laughs> because that's what it's giving. Let me give you um a romance angel and see what comes out with that. Let's see if a romance angel comes out with a message here. Come on. What do we have for our sages here? 
What do we have for Sag? Okay. It says children, your love life is being affected by children. Okay, so maybe you're hesitant because of your kids. All right, bottom of the deck says love yourself first. <laughs> your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so totally understand like, you know, someone making the best choice when it comes to their children, okay? But I think what Spirit is saying is like, you can still like, don't neglect yourself though, because you're like making um decisions that are in the best interest for your children yes but i feel like it's almost like you can still like make choices for yourself that don't negatively impact your children so it's almost like don't neglect yourself though okay all right i think that's what it's saying anything else for um saggies in this formal reading anything else for saggies One, two, three. That's it. All right. So that's what I have for you, Shude. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I miss you guys already. Bye.